Hello everybody, Hunter Bakes here, back with the review for y'all. Everybody, today's video one is gonna be a little bit of a better sweeter one video, everyone. As everyone today's video will be my final review here on my YouTube channel one. Now, for those of you wondering why everybody do recommend checking out my if you want more depth explanation, that's the why everybody I recommend checking out my latest favorite one. I kinda go more depth reads everybody, but kinda a summarized version by um I decided I want to take things a little bit of a different direction here. So the videos I produce on other ones. So, so where what today's review will be my final one here on YouTube by, and I'll be transitioning from doing reviews of movies and shows there to do reactions to them there by. So, I right, so if you want more like if you want here like the details of that, that they're going to check out my latest, my last video there I posted here. So yeah, for the for this one. But anyways, everyone. <clears throat> I apologize to everybody for a, uh, and yeah, voice of my throat there, and cough everybody. I am still getting a little bit over, uh, you know, over sickness there, but, uh, I'm feeling relatively well to do the, to do the view here one, so, I apologize for everybody, you hear that kind of stuff, everybody, so, yeah. Uh, I would like to say today's video will be about a final review here, but you should share one, it'll be kind of better, sweeter by, of, uh, I've been doing reviews here on my YouTube channel since about 2017 there, so, but, um, I feel like, you know, I feel, you know, I feel like this will be a good change, I'll be headed for another one, you know, so, uh, I want to take this time to thank everybody who has watched my reviews there on my YouTube channel, whether it be, you know, or if y'all were around, I first started doing reviews around since 2017 there, <coughs> or if y'all were around at the beginning of 2017 there to, a more recent viewer there. I appreciate um all the time. I appreciate y'all had a chance to share my views there. I hope you yeah, provide yeah, yeah. You know, entertaining videos for y'all there, you know, and share your data up there throughout for with my reviews are by so I thank you all for the support for the reviews are by. I hope you will continue to support my with this position by for me doing you know, reviews, some movies and shows to reactions there would so So, everyone, for today's review by, for, a, for the final review by, I will be reviewing the Season 3 of Battle House by, um, everyone, as to why I specifically chose Season 3 of Battle House by, and, you know, two reasons are by, number one, you know, kind of, you know, it is something that's been kind of, you know, I've, you know, I've reviewed the first two seasons of Battle House by, so I've, so, uh, you know, reviews, I've already had uh, plans to review Season 3 by, but why I specifically chose it there to, you know, a second reason there, but why I specifically chose Al House Season 3 there and the final, you know, a series finale there for Al House or by, I want to make sure my final review is one was over so that I, you know, I had, you know, as it was a positive one there, so I, you know, because, you know, yeah, part, you know, I said, part of why I do reviews are by, you know, you know, talk about different things I really enjoyed there and, you know, get my thoughts on different things there and express the different things I enjoy for different shows and movies I watch there, so and those of you see my previous reviews of Al by although I really enjoyed the first two seasons there, so I figured it'd be a fitted way to have my final review for the YouTube channel be over the third and final season of Hauser by so <coughs> and again, apologies advance for a cough and stuff I had there once so um all right, so my follow review by will be on the third and final season of Outhouse Everybody. So. Everyone, uh, I, as I previously brought up before, everybody, when I did my first impression of Vigor 1 and, and a couple of the other reviews of Outhouse Everybody, the third season is significantly shorter compared to season 1 and 2 everybody, as, um, the as they were pretty much, as the show was canceled there, and, you know, the team were, the team had, to wrap up, and wrap up their story, there are three part one hour specials there. For, you know, each episode lasting one hour there. So, so, so the so the two Al House team were put with a tough test there to conclude. Well, it was probably originally going to be a season long story there to a three episodes, three one hour specials there. So, but did they get things off stronger by with the Al House there? So, well. I recently had a chance to watch a couple last couple of episodes of everybody. Now, here to review for you all. So, without further ado, let's go right to everybody. With my 
Season 3 review of Battle House, everybody. Well, of course, series finale review, everybody. Yeah, overall series, you know, series th overall final thoughts of Battle House's series, everybody. With the third final season, everybody. So, so without further ado, let's go get right to everybody. As usual, everybody, we go with plot summary, pros and cons, and overall final thoughts, everybody. So, let's go get right to it. <clears throat> First off, plot story by, um, the overall plot for season three, everybody, begins with the, with the aftermath of season two's finale, everybody, where Luz, Hunter, Willow, Amity, and Gus have been brought to the human world there, the portal doors destroyed there, and the collector, well, it's not the day of unity there, then to, what is changing things up in the Boiling Isles there, and, but, Luce and the others were left stranded on the human world there, with the way back to the Boiling Isles there. <coughs> so, I have stay with, let's say, with Luce's mother there for a while, and explore the human world there for a bit. But they eventually found their way back to the Boiling Isles there. However, Bellows is alive, again, is alive as well there. He's a pretty... Yeah, coming back to return to the Boiling Isles as well there. So, Lucy the others there must try, must reunite with Ada and King there. Also, try to find a way to stop the Collector and Bellas as well there to try to get things back to the world of Boiling Isles there. So, as first, the plot summary by for uh, the for season, for the season three or by for Al Hazard by now to by Prince Cousin by. So ever after seeing the last couple of episodes of Bell House, everybody, what were all of our thoughts of the season three? Everybody, did they was it a satisfying conclusion to the series? Everybody, there I will say, everybody, I, I thought the I thought the right team, I thought the people working at the house there did a very good job, everybody, with with the finale, everybody. In general. Now there were some, now there are there are some criticisms, everybody. I will break up everyone. But it won't be too harsh, everyone, since, like I said, the, the team worked at house, house there were put a tough predicament there to try to wrap up a what was probably originally going to be a season-long story there with 20 episodes there, so the first two seasons, and try to shorten it down to three one-hour specials there, so. But in general, everybody, I thought they did a pretty good job with the finale, everybody, and that was a pretty good conclusion of series, everyone, so. At first, everybody, the story tell the story by you know. And for the most part, I thought they did a pretty good job with you know, the story by you know, they had a pretty good job you know with balancing out different characters there you know with you know in terms of getting the focus there so the Ray Devel with Luce's character there as well as King and Eda there you know, but we also saw side characters get the spot yeah and spotlight different parts there like Emma T, Gus, Willow, and Hunter there. And I thought, you know, they did a pretty good job, including um, Lucy's mom and the finale pretty well there, you know, as well. So, <laughs> it makes sense there, since, you know, she was away, you know, her daughter, her daughter was separated for a long time there due to Lucy being the boy out there. So, she would, she'll, she comes along with her there to make sure she's okay there, so, yeah. Uh, thought they did a pretty good job with uh, the collector by... With, uh, everybody remember in my season two reviewer by or season two point five reviewer boy for collect for Alice by, um, the like, collector there kind of reminded me of a, a, a combination of Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls and Zito from from Dry Dry Ball for Dry Ball Super there. It's kind, of, it kind of like a mixture. It was kind of like a mixture of those two, those two characters by and. I uh, see. Like I was pretty on point by with my with my with that comparison, by because the collector there not necessarily evil there, you know. More so, you know, didn't know, uh, you know, the differences of what's right and wrong there, you know, and his approach on things there may not be the best way there. So, but uh, collector there, you know, pretty, he was pretty much kicked out. From his family there, from his siblings there, and they pretty much tricked him to play with the Titans there, but then, uh, 
The Titans were destroyed there. And the siblings ended up framing the collector there. That ended up tying back in with the King's dad there. So King's dad ended up sealing away the collector there for a very long time there. So I thought they did a pretty good job explaining that backstory there. As a... Like the history with Collector and the Titans there and whatnot, so yeah. <laughs> but King, we get to see, you know, how you get to see, you know, you know, you spend time with Collector there, he understands that Collector, you know, has been stood so, so there, but, you know, you know, he does what, he wants the things to get back to normal there, but also wants to make sure Collector, you know, try to change the Collector there as well, so yeah. That's a pretty good job that plot line there, so that, you know. And I thought they did a pretty good job with Bellos everybody. Now, I wasn't too sure how they was going to incorporate Bellos there. <clears throat> it's Valor one. But I thought they did a pretty good job there, you know. Kind of, you know, I had that he was, at the end of the day, he was the main threat there. He was kind of pulled the strings there and so that, you know. Well, he may not be as powerful as Collector there. You know, he was able to, you know, manipulate him there due to Collector's trial, like, innocence there and so that, so. And... And, and Collector, he has, you know, you know, is, he, despite being a powerful be there, kids should be manipulated by, I swear, like, Bellos there. And Bellos, my everybody, that at the end of the day, he was the main threat. He, he is, and well, was always the main threat for Owl House there. Thought they did a really good job with Bellos' character there, you know. And that, Anyway, I'm gonna try to keep my review as spoiler free as possible there for people who have not seen the finale there, but uh but the way Bellas goes out everybody, probably one of the most gruesome deaths I've seen in quite a while for a Dizzy Villa there, period. So <laughs> I'm not gonna go into too much spoiler everybody at least try to keep it as spoiler free as possible for the finale everyone, but But Bellos there had definitely Went out a very gruesome way there, so but kind of a fade way for him there to do how cruel his character how cruel and heartless his character was there, so yeah. <coughs> and anyway, in terms of that, make sure by uh, the finale definitely had its strong points there by to make sure we're definitely some of the strongest of the series are by and and kind of yeah everybody gave praise for Al House's animation before by you know and uh, that there there were definitely different parts of Failure One where you know I said where in terms of Western animation by Al House is probably has some of the best the uh, the strongest animation for a television series are by so definitely shows the different parts of the final episodes or what especially the of quite that bad to battle there and something like that, so. so yeah. <coughs> yeah. I thought they did a real relatively good job wrapping up different things everybody, so for the most part there, so where Al House's finale everybody overall was, you know, or pretty much one of those finales there where pretty much everything works out for the main characters there. So that, you know. So, that, so I thought it was a relatively good way to conclude this series everybody. So yeah. That's pretty much it for pros everybody now to some of the cons there one. I said we don't really have a whole lot of criticism everybody. And thought overall the finale was handled pretty well there. But I do have some criticism everyone. So... <clears throat> Um, the first one, everybody, like I said, yeah, I can't harp on it too much there for the creators of Owl House, everybody, because, like I said, they were put into a predicament there, but because of everyone, there is definitely some pacing issues with the final episodes, everyone, where, you know, while the, they did a decent job giving characters a, a you know, spotlights there and stuff like that, and they rolled the finale, everyone, there are some characters there, you know, that were sidelined there and stuff like that, you know, I, for example, Lilith there, Lilith, she, appe she appears a little bit in the second to last of Sermwood, and a little bit of finale there, but, you know, but she really didn't play a significant role in the final battle there, so that, you know, 
And considering how much of a role she played into the story there, you know, it's a little disappointed there, you know. And it would have been nice to see Lilith play some kind of role in the finale there in this event, you know. And for Hootie fans there, you know, they're probably going to be a little disappointed there with who he is. Who he pretty much has really no significant role in the finale there as well, you know. So. So everyone, some characters do get sidelined there and don't really hit, you know, don't really play much of the, in the final episodes there, but too much of a role in the final episodes there, so, yeah. And there, and of course, there are some minor pacing issues. Everybody, like I said, you know, you know, was originally, you know, they probably had play original plans to kind of expand on different things there, but you know, because because the you know story has to be wrapped up in three hours, yeah, three hours, yeah, three one hour special or one. So there are some parts of the valley that do feel a little rushed there, you know, or it would have been nice to get a little bit more detail about certain things that happened there and whatnot. So yeah. <coughs> everyone the episodes themselves are by well i did enjoy i oh, really enjoyed most of them there by the one if i had to narrow it down to what i not, not actually a bad episode there but probably care about the least everybody was probably the second to last episode what is it did kind of serve as a bit of a filler episode what you know for the failure what now well we did get some more details there about what happened with the boy Alice there and stuff like that to what's loose and then return there by um um, it does take a while for Louis and the gate to get to where the collectors, the others are at there. And for a good focal point by of the episode one, you know, the main focus is where the villains in are Basha and Kikimura there, you know. And everybody, and for those of you see my other videos there, what I talk about, Al Hazard by, y'all I'm not really much of a fan of Basha's character there, you know. Um. She was pretty much the, you know, like, stereotypical bully character there and stuff like that, you know. And I've expressed before, I'm not a fan of that type, that character type of everybody, you know. Very cliche there, you know. You know, they try to do some stuff with Bosch's character there, you know. Give her a little bit more depth chart there, but I just really wasn't that invested with stuff with Bosch there. And, and Kiki Moore there, you know. And when Kiki Moore went out, Anyway, while I don't dislike her character by in terms of the villain characters there, she's probably the one I cared about the least there, you know, since she, you know, she was pretty much, you know, the hedge person character by for the main villain there, you know. And at first she was the like the assistant for Bellows there, then she was the pretty much the assistant to the you know to the uh to the plant coming lady there, you know. And here in the, in the second to last episode, she's the hedge person for the assistant for Basha there, you know. You know. You know. I mean, the keyboard, she does her role okay there, enough there as a hedge hedge person there, you know, or assistant there, whatnot for the villain character there. But, but she really didn't have much development in the series there, you know. But there was one episode there where it looked like they were going to give her some stuff going on with her character there in season two, but then she just switched back into the, you know, into her role there, so that, you know, they really didn't do a whole lot with Kiki Moore's character there at the series there, you know. And out, out of the villain characters there, aside from Bosch in there, she's probably the one I cared about the least there, you know. And having those two be a focal point in the second to last episode of the series, where I really did get too invested with what was going on there, you know, with their characters and whatnot, so yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to follow me and Chris everybody now. Uh, I want to last little bit of Chris everybody. Like I said, well, I feel like the overall, they did a pretty good job concluding the series everybody. Um, without Hauser would, you know, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to accuse anybody for our house there, but it's, well, as I watched, as the last little bit of the finale, everybody, and there are some 
similarities with Owl House Valley there and how they played out compared to Amphibia there and so that, and, you know, like I said, it's not a direct copy there. I'm not going to accuse anybody uh, in the Owl House team to kind of copy and stuff from Amphibia's Valley there, you know. Pretty sure they were kind of working on their stuff there and whatnot, but when you really do a side by side like comparison with Amphibia's Finale and Alhaus's Finale, there, you know, there are definitely some major parallels there, you know, like the main characters there overcoming the villain there, the main villain there, and there'd be a time skip there and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, there are definitely some major, you know. <laughs> And we get to see what the what goes on with the characters there after the time skip there and whatnot, you know. It was definitely a bit of a strange predicament there, buddy, because, you know, and when I said my, I remember seeing my video review, buddy, that I still think Owl House, I, I said Owl House is a stronger show there. And while I still do stand by there, buddy, I do think Owl House is a stronger show in general compared to Amphibia there. When comparing the two series finales there, you know, I do feel like Amphibia probably had a stronger conclusion to their series there. Well, Owl House there, you know, it was, I don't get me wrong, it was, like I say, it's a satisfying conclusion, by the way, it comes to, like, the emotional investment there, what I feel like they had emotional, had some more emotional weight there, you know, I feel like Amphibia had the stronger edge in that category there, since, you know, when, uh, and it, her friends there went back to the human world there, they were, that was it there, they saw and all the friends they made during the World of Phibia there, they were unable to see them again there, you know. And they went on with their lives without seeing them again there, so that, so. With Lucy's story by, like I said, it was a, it was a conclusion there where, you know, like I said, it's, it, while still satisfied in this series by, you know, didn't really have as much emotional impact there compared to the previous finale there as Luce was still able to, you know, she pretty much had the best, you know, best possible story there. She was still able to see her by the... We allow us there in Savatio you know, and still do stuff in the human world there in Savatio. You know. So, yeah. And also, a good conclusion of the series of my, in terms of emotional weight there, I feel like it wasn't as strong as the previous finale there, so yeah. But that's pretty much it for Chris or by. Now, to my overall final thoughts are by for season three or one. And for. And Gerald, Al Houser, by so let's go right to her win. So, overall, everyone, Al Houser, by season three. Now, <coughs> sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, for coffee, everyone. So, everyone, comparing it to the other season, Al Houser, one season three was probably the weakest one, everybody. But, like I said, no fault to the people working on the series, everybody. Like I said, they were put a difficult predicament there, you know, to conclude this series there. Was originally going to be like a probably a twenty episode arc there for the final for the finale for our house there to you know cram it down to three hour specials there you know and for the task that they for the tough task they were put up against there they thought they did a pretty good job include the series there and I thought in general the finales were handled very well there yeah you know, it is a pretty satisfying conclusion to series there by him um, but. You know, because there, well, there are definitely some noticeable pacing issues there by some characters there that people become big fans of there, you know. While there, is, there are some characters that do play a big role in the failure by, there are some characters that are probably fan favorites there in the series there are sidelined there and stuff like that, you know, which might disappoint some fans of those characters there. And like I said, there are definitely a lot of parallels there, you know, with Al House's finale with the Phoebe's there and stuff like that, so yeah. So, that makes everyone, I'm still going to give Season 3 of Owl House a watch it right in there. So, so for people who are tuned into the series there, I still do recommend you check out the third final season by, you know. Is, they, did, they did have a good conclusion to the series or one. But there does have some issues there due to the last three episodes being rushed there due to the stuff there that was put that was put onto the Owl House team there. So, that's, so yeah. But I still think it's overall a good conclusion to the series, though. It's still worth a watch there. As for... As for uh, a journal for Al Hazard by... Al Hazard one... Oh, sorry about that burp there. <laughs> Anyways, Al Hazard journal by... I... Now, I ever have really enjoyed Al Hazard by... I thought, you know... 
It's a fantastic short by you know, everyone. Alice definitely kind of marks the end of an era there for some for Disney cartoons or for this, this particular era. Disney cartoons are by you know as you know you know. It seems like Disney's going to take it a different direction there with some of their cartoons there, and they you know, it won't aren't necessarily going to have to be cartoons have have focus at with long storytelling arcs there and whatnot. You know, began in two thousand twelve with Gravity Falls there, and it looks like that era is now officially included with the, with the Owl House there. Eh, I thought Owl House there, you know, Owl House there, you know, fantastic short by and. It's a great way to close that era of Disney cartoons that are by, you know, so. Now, compared to some of the other Disney shows that are by, um, I have uh, checked out there, you know. I still, I, I still think shows like Granny Falls and 2017 DuckTales is a little bit better than that house there, but I definitely do think Gale House is a very short cartoon to include this era of Disney cartoons there, yeah. I still prefer it over some other shows there, like Amphibia and... Sorry for some worse evil there for comparison there, you know. I think it's overall fantastic short sure, one, so. So my overall final make sure my four hours everybody will be getting a must-watch rate there. So if for any of you have not checked out Owl House yet there, how everybody do so there. It's a great show from beginning to end there. And it's definitely worth a watch, so yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much things up, everybody. And this officially concludes my final review here on YouTube, everybody. Like I want to thank everybody who has checked out my reviews there. And it's been very fun to do everybody. Um, but I'll be closing this chapter for me and for content creation everybody on YouTube. I am beginning a new one there by as I simply transition from doing reviews to reactions to different movies and shows or what. So I said, thank you everyone for checking out my reviews there by. I hope you all get to some yeah show support there. You know as I'm. Make this for this everybody, so for doing react to do a reaction to this movies and shows are one. So as for well be the first thing I'll be reacting to everybody for for that for that everybody. Um, I'm going to be <coughs> I'm going to be doing a reaction to Puss in Boots: The Last Wish everybody. So make sure to do everybody as that will be the first video officially kicking off this the new transition by you know. For reactions of movies and shows or ones, so make sure also do that there one. Uh, tell everyone thanks up for there one. If you all saw here, make sure you like button, do a channel, subscribe, and bell, 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 b